Hi guys, welcome back to a quick update video. So this, as you can see on screen, is actually the community feedback update from February 18th. Uh, it's it's only been released about two days ago, depending on when, of course, you're watching this video. And it's talking about some upcoming Blizzard changes to Legacy of the Void. So these are changes that have been in the talks for a long time. Blizzard has obviously been testing them out and seeing exactly what they're going to um what they're gonna look like and uh we're gonna have uh i want to have a quick word with you guys about um the changes that they are thinking of implementing here now these are not final they're still in the making they're probably gonna do a lot of more testing before actually implementing this and then of course if they like it if they think it works out well they will of course implement that in so let's have a quick read of this so balance thanks for your feedback and all the great ideas of your uh for our next balance test map uh, our goal is to aggressively test out various changes so that we can act quick, quickly when problems arise. Don't panic though, because these changes are not necessarily close to final for conclusion in a balanced patch. We're just testing and learning the effects of various changes before we make any final decisions. So as you can see here, it's not the final thing. They still might make changes to this or nerf things or buff things differently. Uh, with that said, let's examine some of the changes we'd like to experiment with in an upcoming balance test map. So Ravager Corrosive Bile Damage changed from 60 to 45 plus 60 to Bio. So <clears throat> uh, this is the first proposed change. This was the best suggestion we saw this week from the community and we agree completely that it could be good a good change for a few reasons. So in ZVP, this type of change will help Protoss against early to mid uh, Ravager pushes while in defense. Um, which I think they actually definitely can use help on. I think that until Protoss gets out Archons, they're actually struggling quite a lot against Ravagers and, you know, Immortals don't quite take care of that since Ravagers are not actually heavy units. So in ZVT, the Ravager shots nerfed heavily against mechanical units, such as the Liberators. Um, we may take, uh, we may be able to try out the Siege Tank Siege Mode pickup uh, removal. Wait, what? Mechanical units like Siege Tanks. Um, that is something I believe is talked later on. Yeah, it is. So we're going to go back to that a little bit later. So in ZVZ, there will be no change, which is great since uh, we want to continue to see variety of units. So ZVZ is not affected. Obviously, it's kind of similar to the Protoss matchup. So ZVZ was kind of, or sorry, PvP was almost identically the same uh, after they nerfed the Adept and also that's it, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Liberator ability range reduced by one, but range is regained with the update. Um, so what they're thinking here is basically the actual, you know, when they go into defender mode, they just want to reduce it down. But when you get the upgrade, it will give that one extra range with the upgrade so that you're actually back out to this super huge long range that uh, you have. I think it's going to force a lot more players to actually get that upgrade. Otherwise, Liberators are going to be just a tad bit a bit less useful. In terms of uh, Zerg versus Protoss, I'm sorry, Terran versus Protoss, I think that this is going to make uh, Stalkers a lot more potent versus Liberators, because right now they are good, but usually if you are about to kill off a Liberator with your Stalkers, you're probably willing to sacrifice about two of those Stalkers before you can kill it off, unless of course you have a big enough group to two-shot it. So that's pretty much that, uh, so ZVT is the most important bit here. <clears throat> because of course if they if they nerf gross of bile they have to compensate the zerg just a little bit so that they're not too much under stress uh, versus uh, liberators so medivacs can pick up siege tanks in siege mode i think this is one of the biggest and most important changes of the this this community feedback potential incoming patch personally because currently the terran meta very very heavily relies on these siege tank pickups it gives you very quick engages it gives you quick disengages saving your siege tanks which is a huge thing i mean imagine a bunch of corrosive biles about the land of your siege tank or even um i don't know a bunch of zerglings running towards it and uh, or zerglings ravagers roaches hydras and during that you cannot pick up your siege tank that has been a saving grace for Terrans right now to be able to lift off their siege tanks when they're just about to, you know, to to, to get attacked. And uh, I think that this is going to be an absolute massive, massive one. Um, so although siege pickup has increased micro and early aggression, as many of you point out, removing this ability seems good for three reasons. <clears throat> the ability takes away from the cool factor of siege tank having a clear weakness versus strength compared to other unit in the game. 
which is again talking about uh, having the slow um, you know siege up mode but then having the increased range and bonus damage um, uh, the advantage and disadvantage versus mech uh, of mech versus bio are, are lessened due to this change so again um, this change will give us some room to increase the damage of siege tanks which we will talk about shortly um, which we agree could have possible effects on, on terms of siege tanks really fulfilling their fantasy which is essentially blowing units the hell up uh, so let's see what else we've got here uh, currently Terran Bio can have the fire power of siege tanks without re sacrificing mobility which obviously is exactly it there with the medevacs uh, given uh, and giving s more strength to the siege tank we wonder if we can have this clear distinction between the two playstyles appear once again uh, so yes let's see so this is the the, the compensation the Terran is getting essentially for the removal of the pickup so siege tank damage increased from 35 to 50 versus armored sorry um, 35 normal and 50 versus armored to 40 and 60 versus armored so it's going to be talking about this again so again we're going to obviously read all this so we wanted to locate numbers that would significantly significantly buff siege tank heavily versus certain units and not others so that's talking about zerglings uh which get one shot at anyways uh so marines um uh, not so much stalkers i suppose adepts um roaches sorry roaches do get affected ravagers not so much um and you know basically the, the all-around ground units that are not heavy they're not as heavily affected but then armored units are which is i suppose the purpose of this so siege tanks relationship against marines won't be changed too significant and significantly since they still won't be able to one-shot them regardless uh even if they have no upgrades or shield upgrades but marauders um that just use stim pack to close in a tank would be heavily nerfed by this change i personally slightly disagree with this if a bunch of marauders have just stimmed up to close in on a tank that tank will probably want to move the hell away as fast as possible because if he doesn't those marauders are gonna freaking ruin it ruin it, it they're gonna ruin him and uh, obviously if if you know marines if the siege tanks can't be picked up in siege mode then those marauders are just gonna have free reign over killing them very very quickly so roaches and ravagers won't be affected heavily but once global upgrades start coming into play these changes will begin favoring siege tanks so basically if you have 60 damage versus armored each of the upgrades for the siege tanks is gonna affect it more heavily i think that at this point uh, currently I think you get an extra three damage for every upgrade if i'm not mistaken which means you get you you would have 59 in total but with 60 you're probably gonna get four uh which could potentially give you up to 72 damage versus roaches i think i don't know if that's exactly the case that's just speculation it could still be 69 so just a, a three in each upgrade um so let's see against Prolos, this will change the siege tank's relationship against most ground units but we wonder if this is a good thing since Prolos is already the most resistant to siege tanks attacks and, and that was of course because of their their shields as well and their units are pretty heavily um fortified because they have a lot of health um so what's next we started uh, to play testing these numbers internally this week so we'd love your feedback regarding both of the high level directions of these and uh, changes as well as specific number suggestions also please note that none of these changes are final and and there's no need to overreact let's work towards having the best set of changes for the next balance test map and it's from our Ar Arkitas, who is a blizzard a dev i believe uh is that correct yes he is a dev, a dev. so I will be including the link to this topic below. It's it's on the battle.net uh, forum. If you have any comments, of course, do send them towards Blizzard. We obviously we're all StarCraft fans here, so we want to get this uh, fixed as soon as possible. So uh, not fixed, but balanced as much as possible. So that's pretty much it. I just want to have a quick look at if there's any interesting comments here. So this dude got plus thirty. Uh, he likes these changes. Um, blah, blah, blah. So he's giving uh, an, an alternative here to, to increase corrosive bio range by one rather than reducing liberator range by one, which I would probably disagree with simply because the corrosive bio range is pretty long already. Um, but not a bad suggestion at all, to be honest. It, it could potentially make sense. Um, that's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. I'm not going to read all that. Uh, sounds great. So people are actually okay with some of this. I mean. It doesn't even seem that um, 
that people are complaining about the siege tank uh, lift off because of course they are getting the extra damage now this is quite an important thing what i what i want to read out here so contaminate still for low league uh Leaguer, leaks for fun like mothership and hot uh, contaminate of course is the overlord ability uh, to basically uh, disable a building's production capability i definitely agree with this and i think that the the main problem with contaminate at the moment is that it simply costs too much energy as far as far as i remember it's 150 energy which is it's crazy for an overseer to have that kind of energy it's crazy uh swarm host still useless 100 percent agreed i think they need to be either re-nerfed or remade uh because at the moment how often do you see them? Not often at all. Just not enough. And I think that they really, really need to redo them somehow to make them more viable. Um, and Cyclones, which again, I semi-agree with. I've seen some pretty good plays with them outside of this scenario that he's describing here, which is countering Medivacs and Oracles. I've seen them in quite a few other matchups. So for example, I've seen them against uh, Adepts. Uh, not mass adepts, but a few adepts. I've seen them against stalkers because, of course, they're faster than stalkers and they can shoot while while moving. Um, but that's pretty much it. I do think that they could use a bit of uh, of some sort of remake. I don't know exactly what. I, I'm not the greatest of creative uh, players for that, but um, you get the point. Um, okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'll pretty much leave it at that. If you have any comments, of course, leave them below the video. I would very much like to to uh, to read what you guys think about this whole upgrade. Let me know, do you agree with some of these changes? Do you not like them? Uh, I particularly want to hear your, your thoughts about the siege mode being removed as a pickup uh, option. I think that that is quite an important change. And I think that once that's done uh, and the damage increased, and assuming this goes ahead... I think that the, it's going to change the Terran meta altogether, particularly in Terran versus Terran. I think that that is completely going to re-overhaul the whole situation because it's no longer going to be as viable to to have, you know, Siege Tank and Marine pushes, which I used to complain about so much. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for sticking all the way to this video. I hope you, of course, have enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Of course, don't forget to follow me on my social media links, which will be in the description for this video. Uh, and actually, you know what? I'll, I'll make it a, a simple outro for uh, the, the face cam here. And that's pretty much it. Good luck. Take care. See you guys in my next cast. Good luck. Bye-bye. And uh, take care of yourself.